Okay, here we have 1.1 solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, fractional forms with binomial numerators. So again, we're still just following the same six steps. Anytime it says solving linear equation, it's the same six steps. So first step is to get rid of the fractions. I have two and eight as my denominators. So let's list the multiples of the larger number. And two does go into eight itself. So eight is going to be my smallest uh, common denominator. So I'm gonna do eight times 15. I'm gonna do eight times this giant fraction plus eight times this giant fraction. And then we're going to reduce two goes into eight four times, eight goes into eight one time. Now here, eight times 15 is 120. Here you have a four, but it has to be multiplied by everything in the parentheses. So the four will actually have to get distributed. So I get 28V plus four. Now here you have a positive one that needs to get distributed. So positive one times three V is positive three V, and positive one times negative eight is negative eight. Then we have, and we already eliminated the fraction, so I mean the parentheses, so step two is already done. Step three is to combine like terms on each side. So 120, there's only one term, nothing to combine. Here I can combine 28V plus 3V, which is 31V. And I can also combine the constants and get negative four. Then you can, there's really nothing to do here because you only have one term with the variable and it's already on A side. So the next step is to move the constant to the other side. So here, since my variables are on the right, that means I need to move my constant to the left. So I'm going to add four on both sides and I get 124 equal to 31V. And then the last step is to divide by our coefficient. And so I end up with four equal to V. Let's try that again with another one, especially because there's a bunch of negatives in this problem, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing, identify that LCD. So my denominators are five and two, the bigger number being five. So if I list his multiples, five, 10, 15, 20, so on and so forth, two does not go into five, but two does go into 10. So I'm gonna put my minus sign and then my 10 times three, my equal sign, 10 times this whole fraction, my minus sign, 10 times this whole fraction. So then I end up with negative 30 equal to 5 goes into 10 twice and 2 goes into 10 five times. So I have a positive 2 that needs to be distributed, which gives me 6u minus 6. And I have a negative 5 that needs to be distributed. So that gives me a negative 35u, and negative 5 times negative 1 is going to make that a positive 5. So step 2 has already been done because I already got rid of all the parentheses. Step 3 is to combine my like terms. So I do have 6u minus 35, which is negative 29u. And then I also have constants negative 6 plus 5, which is a negative 1. Step four, we cannot do. There's only one variable term and it's on the right side. So when I go to move to do step five, I have to move the constant term to the other side. So I'm gonna add one and I get negative 29. And then the last step is to divide by the coefficient, negative 29 and negative 29. So here they cancel, I'm left with by itself. And negative 29 divided by negative 29 is a positive one. So my answer here is actually a positive one.